How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. Today I'm going to be taking this Darth Vader in 1 to 12 scale and giving him a little display case that I think elevates the figure and makes it a little bit more fun to look at while it's on the shelf. First thing to do was to measure the base and make sure everything would fit nicely inside of there. More importantly that it would fit inside the glass. The material that I used for the base was some one inch styrofoam, cut that into a little square, and I drew a line from corner to corner to find the center, and I used my very precise method of hole drilling, it's called twisting a pencil. And speaking of precise, they make some very precise circle cutting jigs for this hot wire table that I don't have yet. So I make do with this nut and bolt setup, it works okay some of the time. This time it happened to work out just fine. All I had to do was sand the edges, made sure I was masked while I did that because I did not want to inhale any of that dust. Styrofoam is not good for your lungs. I then marked out a spot for Vader and for the helmet that will be in the snow. And I used a center punch to mark a spot on the base where the wires will go through. And then I drilled that out. I'll be using this toggle switch to turn the lightsaber on and off. I needed a spot for this to go, so I drilled a hole in the side and then I removed some of the plastic, which was very satisfying, until I had a space large enough for the switch to fit through. To power this thing, I'm going to be using some 3 volt batteries, and I'm going to be using a battery housing from a tea light candle. This thing is great because it's very low profile, so it fits right under the base, no problem. Wired that up to the switch and tested my circuit. Although the lightsaber is mostly hidden by Darth Vader's hands, I wanted to be able to tell that it was Ahsoka's lightsaber, if you looked closely. So I carved a little V in the end of a styrene tube also cut up some tiny little pieces of styrene which I glued to the end to try and match her lightsaber. If you are not familiar with this scene and you saw the thumbnail and came here to correct me and say, hey man, Darth Vader has a red lightsaber, not a blue one, I would say, hey, thanks man, I know that. This is actually from the last season of The Clone Wars. If you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend it, especially the last four episodes. They coincide with the Revenge of the Sith, and it's really good Star Wars content. I would highly recommend. In order to get power to the end of the lightsaber blade, and also add a little bit of rigidity, I straightened out some enameled copper wire. I soldered one end to the other end of the filament, and then I doubled it back, and ran the whole thing down the middle of the lightsaber. Also trimmed off the excess straw, and that was the lightsaber done. I printed out this clone trooper helmet from a file that I found on Colts 3D. I will link that below. And I carved out a little spot in the foam to make the helmet look like it was resting in the snow and not on top of the snow. To create a little bit of variation on the surface of the snow and make it look a little bit softer, I mixed up some plaster, paint, and Mod Podge thinned it down with a little bit of water. It was a nice pasty consistency. Smeared that on with a palette knife and then I used a glove to try and get it rid of as much of the texture as possible. I also used a pen cap to create some footprints and while that was drying I moved on to painting the helmet. The battalion of clones that Anakin is in command of is called the 501st, and they're all really good friends of Ahsoka, but she's been away for a while, and so when she comes back, they paint their helmets with this orange pattern, which resembles the pattern that is on her face, as a little tribute. So I painted this pattern on here, and in order to get 
the pattern correct. I marked out all of the points that were significant with a little dot. And then I connected them with a line and filled in everywhere that needed to be filled in. The paint job is a little crude, but it gets the point across. I added a few other colors and some weathering to complete the look. I then added some watered down glue and I sprayed it with some isopropyl alcohol to help it spread out. And it was time to add the snow. A little while ago, Kathy Millett depicted the same scene in a beautiful diorama on a much smaller scale. A lot more clone trooper helmets with both Ahsoka and Darth Vader. You should definitely go check that out after you watch this video. I then drilled some holes in Vader's boots and I put some rods in there, which I anchored into the base to help him stand up a little better. I threaded all of the wires through both the foam and the base soldered up all of the loose connections and then I tucked the wires away and I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Huge shout out and thank you to all of my patrons. Really appreciate you guys. Have a great week, everyone. See you next time.